And where's Miss Talkative? He's making Miss Talkative. <laughs> At Sinai Hospital, art therapy has been just as important to little brother Evan as it has been to his eight-year-old sister. Elise was diagnosed last year with leukemia. Her family says it changed everything. Before her diagnosis, she was very outgoing, very playful, very free-spirited. And kind of overnight, she became very withdrawn, fearful. Elise started creating projects with art therapist Danielle Eichner. It's a program called Tracy's Kids, giving control to pediatric cancer patients and their families who feel powerless over their diagnosis, treatment, and fear about the future. They can pick a project and they can have full control over what they decide to do, how, what materials they decide to use, and so to just provide that and a little bit of normalcy back into the you know, hospital environment to make that journey a little easier for them is one of my biggest goals. For months, I would try and talk to her, and she would not say it was either be a nod or a no with a shake of her head. But once uh, Danielle came and started the art therapy, it's like our patient has so much to say that she can't stop talking about it. Danielle comes at this with a unique perspective. She was diagnosed with cancer when she was 11, and Dr. Sean was her doctor. And Tracy, who the program is named after, was Danielle's art therapist. Elise's dad is a cardiologist at Sinai. His daughter's struggle has given him a new way to relate to patients and respect for the power of googly eyes and pom-poms. It is drawing her back uh, to what she used to be. Personally, I can't even imagine how you could treat a child with cancer without introducing art therapy. Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.